everyone, Mike Scan here, Senior Pastor of Epic Life Church in Terrell, Texas. This is our Three Minute Thursday where we take three minutes and unpack a subject or a topic from the Bible. Today, we're gonna do three minutes on the Sabbath. First and foremost, what is the Sabbath? Well, the Sabbath by definition means to cease from exertion. And the greatest question that we get from believers is, is the Sabbath for Christians? Should Christians participate in it? Or was it just for the Jewish people? Well, let's first and foremost look at where it came from. First of all, in, X, in Genesis chapter 2, verses 2 and 3, we find out that the Bible says in that passage, we're going to open up real quick to that. And in Genesis 2, verses 2 and 3, this is what it says. In verse 2, it says, And on the seventh day God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because in it he had rested from all his work, which he uh, which God created and made. God created the day of rest or Sabbath, the seventh day, as a day to rest, not only for himself, as he demonstrates, but also for us to have a day where we cease from work, cease from being busy, cease from the stresses of this life in order to reconnect with him. We see it again in Leviticus chapter 23. In verse two, it says, speak to the children of Israel. Notice it doesn't say to the Jewish people, it says to the nation of Israel. The appointed seasons of the Lord, verse three says, six days will be work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath. Notice it says the Sabbath, not a Sabbath uh, of rest, a holy convocation. In my last video, I talked about what a holy convocation was. It's a rehearsal or an appointment given to us by the Father. So God commands us not to the nation of uh, not to the Jewish people from the tribe of Judah, but to the nation of Israel. That brings me and you in as believers. As Paul told us in Romans 11, that we've been grafted in to the vine, and so we are a part of the nation of Israel through Jesus Christ. Now, Jesus brings this all back around in the book of Mark, chapter 2, 27 and 28, when he looks at the people and he says that, that the Sabbath was made for man and not man, for the Sabbath, what does it mean? It means that God made this for us so that we could take time out and recenter our life on Him. It's a holy appointment that God has set for you weekly to spend time with Him. I hope this helps you, I hope this helps you understand. And this has been our three minutes on the Sabbath. See you next time.